Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Anderson's TV with Mr. Rob Chapman. Exactly. I don't know what I'm doing, Lee. He doesn't. Rob almost has no idea. So this video, as you may well have worked out from the title, is another classic blindfold video uh, where Rob has to tell us which is the valve amp and which is the solid state uh -huh. amplifier. Uh, there are four amplifiers uh, in a crescent moon shape behind the back of Rob Chapman. Uh, they all have, uh, they've all been set up with a clean channel at hopefully about the, 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 the most similar volume that we can get them. Oh, I do love me a clean um, tone. Rob has, at his own request, a Friedman BE overdrive pedal uh, in front of him. Uh, he, you, we, we, can, we can enjoy the hilarity of Rob trying to stomp on a pedal that he can't see. Um, <laughs> and he has a Fender HSS Strat and I have the tools behind me to switch Rob seamlessly from one amp to another. So we are going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to annotate on the screen what they are so that if you don't want to know, look away now. So I need to guess, is it valve or is it not? Exactly. Can I add a difficulty level? Well, you can, you can say whatever you like. You can guess if it's valve, you can say if you like it. You don't have to like the valve one. I'm gonna, hey. go, for, I'm gonna go for brand. And the only thing I'm going to tell you is there are four amps and I'm not going to tell you how many are solid state and how many are valve out of that four, but at least one will be either valve or solid state. Okay. Okay. So are we ready to start playing? Monsieur yes, sir. Chapman. I was born ready. Do okay. I have, oh, wait, where's my lapel on? Yes, I plugged okay. you in and you're on. So uh, Cleanus Tonus Maximus number one. Here we go. That's uh, not valve. Sounds should, good, but it's Should we not. stick all clean for the time being and then yeah, we'll yeah, go yeah. back? To, okay. For sure. Oh, wait, wait. Shall I add an overdrive to it? No, that's what I'm okay, saying. That's okay, what, okay. I just literally went, shall we stick all clean <laughs> away through? But you I went, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I stick the pedal on it? Listen, man, I get excited about stomping on random things on the floor. Right, here we have amp numero de. Again, very nice, not valve. Excellent choice there, Mr. Chapman. Uh, let's go for amp numero trois. set these tones up. Pete and I both set them up together. Not valve. Okay, well, by virtue of the fact that we've had three out of our four amplifiers so far and you've said they're all not valve, then I guess this final one must be the valve one. I think it might be valve. <laughs> okay. Well, you want to run through those again or go straight over to the pedal or what do Let's you want to do? Let's go pedal time. Okay. Well, find Starting the pedal. With the one I'm on. Stomp it. Uh, no, I'm going to go, run, I'll, I'll run through it one to four Can again. You? No, it's to your left. <laughs> to my, Use your other foot. My other, other foot. Okay. 
It's so close. Oh, there you know, you've stomped it. You've Have stomped I? it. That's it. It's fine. It's on. It is on. Okay. Uh, and we're going back to the first amp, so the one over this side, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Hang on. I'll tell you what you've done there, is you've Change moved the volume control with your foot while stomping. Oh, shall I try and turn no, it back? No, 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 no. I, I'll come over and rescue the situation. Thanks, Lee. Okay, keep you playing. Got my, you got my back. Yeah, Daffo, not. not don't turn it off, don't turn oh, it off. Okay, okay, it's on. Okay, um, numero duh. Sorry, just to remind me again, you said that you're. you're That's originally, not a valve, you man. said that wasn't valve when it's it was still, clean. You're saying with a pedal yeah, in front it's of it, it's still not valve. Okay, next one. Have to make a distinct a distinguishment distinguish between something that might have a valve preamp but be digital guts and something that is just valve i think that might have a valve preamp oh. but but it, it it sounds like it's got a digital power section so you think we're trying to throw you there do you or maybe well, we no, are no, 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 okay right could you uh, put the pedal back on and, and stop turning the pedal on and off because you're going to move the knobs okay otherwise. sorry sorry right next amplifier is it valve or is it solid state that's solid state that's the new little black star um amp the big one that you had Not very, not very nice with the pedal. I, I, I've got to say, I concur. In fact, yeah, all right, maybe this is a bad, this is a good example of when sometimes pedal settings need to have to be adjusted to the amplifier. That'll but be hey, what it is. Um, lastly, what about this one? Is, that, is it not that Fender combo? Is, is it the... I'm not even sure if any of them are valve -ly. Wow. I, I think you might be trying to trip me. I'm gonna, I think I'll go back it's to the clean. Fender the, We used this, I mean, this was the pedal at your request. It's De La Fizz into some of these amplifiers for shizzle. i tell you what I'm going to do, Rob. Yeah. Just going to put an 808 in front of them. <sighs> yeah. Just purely simply because it's like, yeah. it's not so gainy. Yeah. It's just going to be a, you know, yeah. A mildy thing, and hopefully that won't cause the amps to de la fizz up. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, you're kind of going... Yeah. Um, let me just set this up. Yeah. So we've put a, a TS-808 tube screamer in instead of the Freeman B overdrive, and we'll just go round again. At the moment, on the clean pass, Rob thought it was solid state, solid state, solid state valve. And on with a, a BEOD in the front, he was like solid state, solid state, or maybe valve preamp, solid state, solid state, solid state. Yeah. Okay. Now uh -huh. I, I'm going to let you have a clue here, Rob. I, as I said to you right at the beginning, at least one of these amps is valve. Okay. Uh, so here we go now with the tube screamer. Same again, starting over here with amp number one. <laughs> Yeah. 
So that's that's digital. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, next one, please. It's a very. <laughs> it's there's something valvey about it, but I'm not a hundred percent sold that it is. So that's again, this is the one that I said could have a valve preamp, but not be fully valve. Um, well, so I, I, I'm excellent. Gonna, I'm okay. Gonna say it's not uh, a valve. Next number three. That's the black star. It's not valve. It's a lot better with the TS-808, but it's, it's still definitely a okay. digital amplifier. Uh, and lastly, here we go. That's a valve amp. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Rob. Thank well, you, sir. Well, now, so here we are. Um, I'm going to sit here, if that's all right with you. Um, I suppose this is, uh, you know, before you remove your, your, your blindfold, Rob, and we show you what, uh, what you, the amps you were playing through, I guess the, the whole point of this video was maybe to use clean amplifiers and then get drive from a pedal rather than trying to drive the amplifiers themselves, which, you know, arguably is perhaps a slightly more difficult way of identifying which one is the valve amplifier and which one is the... We should have gone for the, um, the Dirty Shirley pedal. Um, well, that's probably... It is what it is. We chose two pedals, two, you know, particularly the Tube Screamer is a, you know, who hasn't owned an 808 at some point. And the BE Overdrive, I think, was a good choice. That That is a lot of gain and does transform a clean amp into a high gain amplifier, typically. So, do you want to de-mask and yes. see what you plugged into? And the then perhaps as we go through, go, what was it about each one that you thought was either <clears throat> valvey or solid statey? Oh. So... <laughs> So number one, number oh. one, which you didn't think was a valve amplifier, however we packaged it up, was the Boss Katana Wait, Artist. Me, I've got to shift my chair over here, just so I can... <clears throat> On the clean sound, pretty much, I think, you know, we're pretty, what, what's the EQ setting? A little bit of extra bass and, you know, pretty flat, wasn't it, I think, from memory. Yeah. Do you want to hear can, that? Yeah, can I? Yeah. This is so interesting. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> but that's the one that you said was solid state. Every... I said it sounded good, but it was definitely solid state. Yeah. yeah, you can hear it. It's the compression. There's a compression in it. Yeah. That you, you can hear. That's a deluxe. So reverb. the next one that you, I mean, this this was the one that you said possibly uh, had a um, a valve preamp, but a solid state output. Yeah. That is about as valve as they come. That, Not an amp I've got any experience interestingly, with. Interestingly, this amp is the only one of the four that also has a genuine spring reverb. Really? Yeah. It's the cabinet size, I think, that's making me feel like it's digital. It's the, it's the size of the cabinet. It's not giving off lots of low end. It's quite boxy. But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same size cabinet as all the I other ones. I knew that was a black star. Now this I think is the funniest. Okay, so that that's so that so just for you guys at home, Katana Artist by the way, completely solid state. <clears throat> um, the uh, analog preamp section but with a digital sort of emulation within it and a, and a class AB power section. 
The deluxe reverb, we've chosen the, the 68 reissue. It's the reason it's got the blue screen print on it. So, um, but it's it's all valve, valve, you know, um, valve preamp, valve power stage, spring reverb. I think it's probably a valve driven spring reverb as well. So that's about as valvey as it can get. Um, the HT20 yeah. is valve preamp, valve power section, digital reverb, and really interesting because we used this amplifier yesterday and in other videos whilst Rob's been with us, and he loved it. Yeah. And yet we then go, what about, you know, in this test and with that pedal and everything, and it really doesn't... It didn't sound good. Let's put it on. I mean, I thought the clean sound was okay, but it's... There's a lot of low end weirdness. Almost sounds like an acoustic kind of yeah, piazzo y kind of vibe yeah. going on. The, but all um, on the crunch setting, it sounds great, but just that, that. On the, on the amp, you mean using, yeah, the, yeah, using yeah. the valve? Yeah, look, so yeah. that's an interesting one in the sense of going, it just goes to show, you know, horses for courses here. But, different uh, applications, different amps, different, sorry, got different 80, guitars. It's got 30, 84s in it. EL84s in the power amp section and ECC83s in the preamp. Right. So that was that one. And yet here's the interesting one. The only amp that you uh, basically said all the way through was the valve amplifier is the only one that's class D, completely digital, everything right. about it's digital, which what? is the new Fender Tone Master. That's digital. It, it's it's completely digital. <laughs> I could pick this up with <laughs> my little finger. Me. Has a neodymium no speaker way. in it. Pick it up with your little finger. I mean, you have to put it back down with the... Shania Twain. Yeah. So this is the Tone Master Deluxe. No. Um, which, I mean, this, this, I, I, I don't, Rob's never tried one of these. I'm not even sure we talked about this Even a bit looking at it, I thought it was digital. Yeah. Uh, Valve. And I've said this in videos about this. This is personally my absolute <laughs> favorite use of digital technology, which is where the brand Fender have just gone, Hang on a second, right. Fender Deluxe amplifier. It's a, it's a two channel, but non channel switching amplifier with a bit of reverb, a bit of vibrato. It looks a certain way. What if we just made that amplifier, but with digital tech? That so is mind blowing. So play, play that some more. Yeah. I mean, it just sounds like a I mean, it, it, I, I would almost say the only thing about the Tone Master, well, not even the Tone Master, but about this kind of amp that I know in the past I've not warmed to. I'm not a big fan of typically of the neodymium speakers, you know, the ones that have got those much smaller magnets on them, so they're a much lighter speaker. But I just think Fender have done such a stellar job this on just sounds Master. Like a, it just sounds like a valve. And I love the fact that I love the fact that looking at it, even when, even as I'm telling you it's yeah. digital, I your, your it. brain's going, yeah. no, it's it, about isn't, about. it isn't, yeah. it isn't. Because yeah. of what they've done visually, it's just brilliantly, brilliantly right, let me, put together. Let me, let me, so yeah. Let me. They've really, really done a great job of that. So there we are, there are a cat amongst the pigeons there. Normally, <laughs> this is one of the first times I think we've really managed to, to, failed. to throw failed you. failed utterly in this Well, test. it's not a fail. I mean, it's just, it's the best way to do these videos. You know what it, it is, like, mate? Technology just... is advanced so so far now that it's just indistinguishable. I, I'm, I honestly, I've said this before, Marshall, if you're watching, Vox, if you're watching, Make a JCM 800. Like, a, a, do an AC30, do a, do a JCM 45, whatever, but but don't add anything no. to the features. Just just use the digital technology to get it as close as you can. I said, I'm interested, I might even do this. Pete and I have got some speakers that Celestian sent us the other day. I'm kind of interested to see what a Tone Master amplifier sounds like with a conventional speaker in it. Because I'm not, the, the weight thing of it, doesn't massively appeal to what, me, as in... Can uh, we do a, an AB versus the real one? Done. What's the difference in price? Oh, these are these are not quite hot, probably two thirds the price of a, of a valve one, maybe. So, you know, four or five hundred wow. pounds less. F f yeah, about 400 pounds less, I think. So That's there we are. Hey, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, yes, if you played along, 
uh, please comment below about which one you thought was Valve and which one you thought was Solid State and bloody bloody blah. Do they do a, this isn't even a video, do they do a bass breaker one? At the moment, there's only two Tone Master amps. There's a Twin and a, and a Deluxe Reverb. Right. They've just, just released variants of these so you can get the Twin and the Dux, Deluxe Reserve. <laughs> you can get the Twin and the Deluxe Reverb in the original uh, 65, you know, sort of black front. Or you can get them now in a in a blonde color with a, a different speaker and a sort of slightly different vibe. There's a you know there's an Anderton's video about the comparison right. between those two. But yeah, I mean I think this is the future from Fender. I think you're going to see basements. You're going to see um, vibraluxes. You're going to see heads. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like it's, wow. It's very very cool tech. Um, uh, and uh, and uh, this uh, is from a, a Valve fan. Even if you had not put the blindfold on me. And I had sat here and just played these yeah. amplifiers, not knowing that there was a trick. Yeah. I would still have said that was a valve. Amp. That the original launch video for Tone Master last year is um, Kingfish. You know the, the, the yeah, dude, he's the amazing. Yeah. yeah, he does. A, he plays. Oh, I can't remember what the track is. But it's a cover of an old classic that he plays and sings on for the launch video, and he's using the Tone Master twin. And he doesn't know the whole way through <laughs> the thing. It's not a twin. <laughs> It's, it's amazing incredible. what your eyes do. Like, and, the, and I think, again, I'm, I, I digress now, but I think that's a big part of it because you're, you're not, you don't have a constant visual reminder that you're... As long as the audience can digital. see the amp, it'll be fine. Right. Anyway, Bosch, done. Another <laughs> see you video. later. See Bye. you later. Bye. Wow.